so this is the rough architecture that we have for sale point okay now okay mm -hmm. i'm trying to explain you now so here iaq as you know this is one of the identity and access management product from sale point mm -hmm. and it manages the identity and their access managing identity means managing its complete life cycle life cycle that means right from user getting onboarded into the organization until like if he is moving from one department to another he is getting withdrawn from the organization or if he is getting re rehired everything will be managed mm -hmm. by iaq okay now in iaq in this architecture if you will see we are connected with one of the hr source on the top mm -hmm. okay. hr is connected with iaq why this is connected because iaq requires the users to manage them and these users mm -hmm. will come from one or the other hr sources so hr is one of the application that i am trying to depict here hr application is connected with iaq and hr is providing the user records on daily basis just you can relate it with your organization okay hr is providing the user details to iaq and user details will be having the attributes of users like employee id first name last name email address phone number all these kinds of attributes so these will be the user attributes that hr will be providing to iaq along with the user details now suppose when the data will be received by the user by the iaq from the hr sources mm -hmm. we will call it as a user onboarding completion okay user onboarding in iaq terms we call it as identity cube creation okay okay like in general scenario in generic words we call it as user account created user profile created but in iaq terminology mm -hmm. we call it as identity cube okay. okay identity cube will get created once we receive the data once we receive the users from any hr source to iaq and now suppose iaq is connected with various end point resources like various other applications are you aware about mm -hmm. active directory uh yes there were active directory applications that we uh, onboarded and i tested so what i was basically doing was uh, i used to go into lower environments and uh, submit a test request uh, and for example if the connector we are using was an active directory connector i was supposed to go into softera which is a, a browser for active directory and there was model uh, lower environment groups that were created for ad so we were just basically checking if uh, my test request went successfully and the user is uh, you know provisioned into provisioned. the active directory application yeah yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah okay so suppose iaq receives the data from the hr user mm -hmm. identity cube created now there mm -hmm. could be a requirement that iaq have to provision those users to other target applications which are connected to iaq mm -hmm. there mm -hmm. could be any abc application any sap or any active directory or any other application so iaq will provision the user records to those target applications and this process we call it as a provisioning okay mm -hmm. provisioning is a process of you can say transferring the user records from iaq to any target system or you can say like um, uh, migration or you can say transferring of user attributes it's not only transferring the complete user account suppose your account is first today your account got provision from iaq to active directory but tomorrow from hr your last name got updated and this updated last name will get first of all provision to iaq and from iaq it will get provision to active directory and uh, other applications as well only your last name at the mm -hmm. so then also we will call mm -hmm. it provisioning only okay okay now on the other hand we have its you can say a reverse process as well suppose in active directory because active directory is a directory which is a user base that we have suppose there mm -hmm. are uh, you can say 100000 users available in active directory and we have updated around uh, 50 users from those and we have updated their address okay so that address will get update should get updated to iaq and should get updated in the hr as well ideally because hr should always contains the updated data with them so in active directory if there is any update done by active directory team directly that should get updated to iaq and how that will get updated 
the process will be known as aggregation aggregation is a process to do the import from the target system back to iiq it is a import process okay actually. got it okay so got there it. are two concepts provisioning and aggregation which are you can say almost opposite to each other okay and sangeep uh, if there is any change in active directory target application uh, aggregation is completed it's written back into iiq does iiq pushes anything back to hr and updates anything in the hr system actually if hr source is the delimited source okay delimited means csv file of connector and all csv file mm -hmm. do not allow to do provisioning okay so in that case reverse process will not work from iiq to hr what we have okay, to do is it. in between we can place one file server okay like ft ftp server or any kind of server iiq will place mm -hmm. in that server and hr will pick from that server in that way we can process it so uh, hr system is being updated if there is any change in active directory but it's being updated through a csv file now okay yeah hr could be a csv hr could be a database as well in database also okay. we can do the provisioning and in that case if there is any change in active directory it will get aggregated to iiq and from iiq it will get provision to that database system hr database system but sankar is it a best practice since hr is itself the data uh, uh, the source application mm -hmm. so is it a best practice to write back to the source application uh it is not the best practice but i will just uh, elaborate more on this scenario which i am having and that will give you mm -hmm. a, the clear picture to your question okay okay got it okay let me elaborate more on this hope that this left side is clear to you that aggregation provisioning hr and i yes right mm -hmm. suppose mm -hmm. now yes. we have on the right side we have one, another product from sale point that is identity now okay identity now is a cloud based i am solution okay in identity now there is one important feature of sso that is a single sign on so any client mm -hmm. who is looking forward for identity and access management and also looking for single sign on so he will opt for identity now as well apart from iiq in that case what will happen if anybody will log into this cloud based portal identity now he will be provided with mm -hmm. you can say like 50 or 60 applications which are assigned to user and then user can click sing with a single click the he user can access those applications because it provides single sign on feature okay so what will happen user will log into identity now because identity now is a cloud based portal and mm -hmm. identity now on the back end is connected with active directory that means the user authentication will happen through active directory only user enters his user okay. and password it will get validated from active directory so once user will enter into identity now user went for the self service and user found out that his phone number is not correct okay he updated mm -hmm. his phone number what will happen with the help of updation user updation in identity now the phone number gets updated and it will get updated in active directory right got it and once it will get updated in active directory it should be valid means it should be updated in hr as well so then this reverse okay. process will be required but in if you will you can say if you will ignore the right side part the after the yellow mm -hmm. line if you will ignore that part then in that ideal case it will never be required to provide the write back mechanism from active directory to iiq to hr okay it is never recommended actually mm -hmm.